Hello guys, myself Mayank and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to create a new playlist called Databricks, right? In this playlist, we're going to discuss all the interview questions, the topics, news, happenings uh, of Databricks. And also we're going to create a new end-to-end -end projects uh, uh, generally being used or created in Databricks, right? So topic for today is auto loader versus delta live tables uh, in Databricks, which is a common uh, hot topic, right? Generally asked in interviews, right? So let's discuss that. So auto loader like um, any other um, like any data engineering projects uh, requires data into it right so we need to bring data from other sources like either from cloud other clouds or maybe on-prem or some somewhere right into uh, delta lake in databricks to ingest the data into delta lake so that we can uh, proceed with that like more transformations and apply business logics and all those but, but first we need to bring the data into delta lake so auto loader is used for um, um, one of the mechanism to bring the data there are other mechanisms like we can use the ui also we can use the copy into command also similarly auto loader is one of the mechanism uh, that we can use to ingest data into uh, kind of uh, a delta lake right so it is designed for efficient and incremental data loading into delta lake right from various sources as, as i told right we need to uh, uh, incrementally load the data like let's say there was a um, aws s3 right and every day there was a file coming we need to bring the data uh, so incrementally we need to load into delta lake um, by cdc or um, whatever right all those capture we have to do cdc change that uh, capture feed right we have to do it and we need to proceed that so it supports that auto loader, auto loader supports that it supports um, uh, other all types of like cloud for um, like uh, format like json park and it also supports cloud file format like for kind of optimized cloud storage access so it's a kind of a format provided by auto loader and it supports uh, provides that and we can use that to leverage uh, um, load different types of uh, uh, file types like json and all whatnot right so it supports schema evolution means like let's say to, today we have 10 columns and tomorrow after 10 days we have uh, the 11th column also started coming into files right so it will automatically handle that and maybe the 11th column will come into that so it supports that and it supports the feature of it provides the feature of rescue data column also right so let's say there's some uh, bad data right the schema mismatch or something happens so it will not lose a uh, um, data it will be uh, stored in some kind of a rescue data right so there will be column created rescue data and it will store over there will not lose the data for that so it's provide feature for that also it is ideal for both streaming and batch ingestion both right and auto loader we with the help of auto lo loader we can um, um, like load the files like millions of files or i would say large amount of data very efficiently and cost efficiently as well as well the um, like the performance efficiently so that it supports right and also the backfills can be found like, like which date um, data has been loaded by checkpointing maybe the um, location or the date time stamp right so it has loaded let's say of first um, of january now second january in the data comes right so incrementally it can support that so all those backfills and something has missed or something we need to capture that so all all those kind of uh, um, features is provided into auto loader so we can use that to the, um, to capture all the data into ingestion so basically auto loader is nothing just to get the data into delta lake as an ingestion part of thing right so it supports that there are other mechanism also but auto loader is one of the um, mechanism and it supports more feature on top of other other uh, features provided by databricks and other uh, tools right so that is one and now the data uh, delta life tables which is commonly called dlt right so it is um, auto loader it kind of a dlt part right but dlt is uh, more into etl pipelines when we have to create etl pipelines let's say from bronze to silver to so, um, gold layer or some um, um, like different layer we have to create ETL pipelines then we use the uh, dlt and um, whereas the auto loader is just for ingestion right the first part of it that pipelines it is across all the pipelines right and it supports all feature like um, the automated error handling the quality enforcement like we have to put some constraints we have to do uh, some um, um, quality checks and all those things right we can uh, put it into our dlt uh, pipelines right so it supports that and it supports basically the all the business when whenever we have to create the business uh, logic uh, transformation like let's say a lot of group by joins and all those things right then we use the dlt right we can support create uh, different streaming tables and all and automatically we can schedule it right uh, i'll show you in the other videos also like how to create the dlt tables stream it and schedule it orchestrate it right so it will be give us end-to-end -end view a lot of um, quality enforcement quality handling queue handling error handling right all those features right we'll see in the next videos but for the overview video so this is it right so for comparison now 
the basic comparison it um, auto load is a you can consider it's a part of dlt right where auto load is just focus on the injection button dlt focuses on end to end pipeline side right? so that is the major difference you can think in the mind and in the next videos we'll do it uh, more hands on right uh, we'll see how we can do so that's it for today's video and this is the first video in the databricks um, um, uh, this playlist right so let me know uh, what do you think what more topics you see in interview questions for databricks and what more topics you want me to cover please put it in comment right? it will help me creating more uh, videos right okay guys thank you see you in the next video bye bye